The New York Jets plan on making a significant change to the offensive coaching staff, just not where I think a lot of people expected. What is going on, guys? Welcome back to Talking Jets with Tigo. My name is Tigo, and today we're going to be talking about the fact that the New York Jets are releasing running backs coach Taylor Embry. He will not be returning to the New York Jets this upcoming season, and how, you know, this makes a ton of sense. When we were looking at the offensive coaching staff, or at least when I was looking at the offensive coaching staff, the one coach that I had really identified as someone that needed to be replaced was running backs coach Taylor Embry. And I know a lot of people are going to argue, oh, why aren't you going to get rid of Nathaniel Hackett? What about Keith Carter? And we can have those conversations in diff in a different video. If you guys want that, let me know in the comment section below. But the one coach that I had identified that needed to be replaced was running backs coach Taylor Embry because objectively he wasn't doing his job. I always look at it where if your position group has a superstar, I'm not going to give you credit for that superstar. Right, if a, if a rookie comes in and is expected to be a superstar and is a superstar, you don't get co credit for that coaching. The same way I'm not going to give Aziani credit for Garrett Wilson, I'm not going to give Taylor Embry credit for Brees Hall. Brees Hall was a stud uh, in college, came to the NFL, and was a stud. He really didn't have to do much coaching in terms of coaching up Brees Hall. The same way Aziani didn't have to really coach up Garrett Wilson at all. I'm going to look at the rest of your position group and tell me, and it's going to tell me how successful of a coach you've been. And if we look at Taylor Embry, he doesn't really have a good resume beyond Brees Hall. And that's the problem. Michael Carter had a promising rookie year and then fell off of the face of the planet, just plain and simple. Bam Knight had a relatively successful five to six games and then couldn't make the roster. Uh, Israel Abanacanda was an explosive kid coming out of college and took the kid 12 weeks to make the roster. Something fundamentally wasn't working in the running back's room, and the same thing happened with Dalvin Cook, who's now seeing some semblance of success in... Baltimore and part of that is because they have an offensive line and I get that but when we look at the resume of running backs coach Taylor Embry beyond Brees Hall it isn't all that good there has been too much turnover on the back end of the running backs room and it's just we need to find some consistency there and that's where a, a guy like Deuce Staley a person that the New York Jets are heavily linked to and plan to make a massive run for in this offseason makes a ton of sense. Not only was he an assistant head coach for, you know, uh, the Detroit Lions for two years and for the Carolina Panthers last year. Um, he's a veteran running backs coach in the NFL. He's been doing it for over a decade. And that's, I think, something that go is going to need to be brought in, bringing in more veteran voices into this offensive coaching staff. Taylor Embry, Taylor Embry got his first NFL coaching job as a legitimate NFL coach with the New York Jets as the running backs coach. And like, again, good luck to Taylor Embry wherever it is that he goes. And he's obviously going to claim Brees Hall as one of his, you know, projects, but I'm just not willing to give him credit for a superstar that we kind of all expected to be a superstar. If he would have turned, you know, Israel Abanacanda, a fourth round pick, a fifth round pick into a legitimate superstar as well, then I would have been like, wow, Coach Embry, this guy's got it. He's going to be coming up in the, but he didn't do those things. He was given a superstar. And he was a superstar and failed to develop the rest of the running backs room. This is a position that is going to be heavily important in Nathaniel Hackett's offense is the running back room and the run game in general. And partnering a veteran offensive coach like Deuce Staley in the running backs room with a offensive coach in Keith Carter, who currently is the run game coordinator, and having them work hand in hand to create a more cohesive and better run game plan is a smart move for the New York Jets moving forward. Let me know what you guys think in the comments section below. Is this a good move? Is this a bad move? And let me know, do you guys want to hear my opinions on Keith Carter and all of the rest of the offensive coaching staff and why I only thought the only coach that needed to get fired was Taylor Embry? Let me know in the comments section. And last but not least, go Jets.